what's going on guys welcome back to the channel another video today i saw a video on olga sobe's channel she did this really cool green palette as the base and then she did some embellishments and stuff like that and it kind of inspired me to do something very similar to that but i'm not going to be doing the embellishments so the colors we got for the base we have this light green we have a more of a dark like evergreen phthalo green green like an even darker shade of green and then some gold that's going to be the base and then for my wisps we have a deep magenta a cadmium red a violet i mixed up a, this little piggies powder which i feel like is going to look amazing with it and then a titanium white so that is going to be the wispy lines that i blow out i haven't done a painting where it was a t traditional tilt and all that in a long time so i'm very excited to try it again so first thing we're going to do we're going to take our greens we're going to layer them out and we're going to have our conversation like we always do how is everybody doing this wonderful day it's a glorious day in detroit it's pretty nice pretty sunny outside all right so what i want to do first i know that i want it to have a good layering of all these colors. Now all these colors, there's no silicone in any of this, and there is no Floetrol in any of these colors. I use the Liquitex pouring medium when I mix these up, and that's all we have. The consistency isn't super thin. It's maybe a trace of two. That's normally how I measure the consistencies of paints that I have. And I didn't strain it which may bite me, but I don't know. We will see. This gold is just a glorious gold. Now, what I'm going to do after I layer it is I am going to take a stick and draw quadrants in it. So that'll kind of help separate the colors a little bit. Like I said, doesn't matter. The colors can churn through. These are all shades of green or what have you. So if they did mix a little bit, it's not gonna hurt a thing. Let me add some gold. Y'all know I like my metallics. And this gold is a brilliant gold. Let me grab this so you can see which one. It's this Deco Art America Metallics and it's 24 karat Dorado gold. Phenomenal color, it's amazing. It's one of my favorite golds to go to if I'm not using a golden brand of gold. Golden brand of gold. Right. All right, what else we got here? Now, this is a 12 by 12 canvas. This is a nine ounce cup. So are we continuing the same trend we normally do, guys? I always use more, way more paint than I need, and that's fine. So I'm just gonna take this same stick and cut the paint, just draw it out. Now, there's no silicone in these, so it should not create cells on its own, but here we go. So, the cup is layered very nicely. Now we're gonna kinda just do a dirty pour with it. Oh, wow. It looks like a serpent. That's nuts. Holy mackerel. These colors together are amazing. So I am gonna try to use as much of this as I can. Like I said, it's 12 by 12 which actually this is not a 12 by 12. I might have lied to you guys. I'm pretty sure this is a 14 by 14. But nine ounces of paint should still be far more than enough. Look at that cup. Just like the swirls in it. Mmm, gorgeous. Now we're gonna spread this paint along the surface. I don't need a base coat because I'm not using any silicone. I am seeing some cell-like 
parts of it open up, which is interesting. This part right here looks like scales, like snakeskin. That's really wicked. All right, let me turn it a little bit. So yeah, a trace of two. It's gonna take me a little while to stretch this out to the point where I get enough coverage on the canvas. But yeah, like this thing looks crazy wicked right now. And I might take some white paint just to allow this to continue to slide so it won't roll under as much because right now the flow is slowing down dramatically because it is much thicker would you look at that so far though it's getting some cells going on in that area that's pretty amazing give me one second here let me get some white paint i feel like the white would add quite a nice little I mean, even if I wanted to go with like some negative space, that might be nice. All right. So let me get a little bit of white. That's fine. I'm basically using this, just trying to get the rest of the paint to move. Giving it something to glide on top of. Ideally, I would like to pour all this off, but we'll see. It might just end up being a nice amount of negative space. Mm -hmm. That looks amazing so far. So I'm seeing like snake skin, some kind of dragon scales, something like that. Some of this looks a lot like scales. What is everybody else seeing? I would be curious to know in the comments. All right, so we got there. Let's get some white here. So if you've ever noticed, the paint doesn't want to flow over dry spots. So it behaves a lot like resin in that way. If you have dry areas, the paint doesn't like moving across that. So we try to just get it a little bit, just enough to where the paint can just flow. That's gorgeous though. Even if I wanted to leave that just a little bit of negative space, I feel like it would, it would work. So I'm taking the bulk of the paint, right? And letting it shift down towards that corner without disturbing too much of what's going on here. There we go. See how it's sliding freely now? And now I can bring it back to the center. This thing looks wicked. So this might have been the one rare time, y'all, where I did not use too much paint. So mark that on the calendars, because <laughs> that's new for me, especially. So we're just letting it, letting the paint flow to the other corner. And it's still, it's stretching and opening up all these little details. The white that I used is considerably thinner than the greens and the gold. So it, it's almost as if that green and gold is flowing over top. So here, let me try to bring a little bit of weight down to that corner. But man, this is looking really awesome. So while we wait for the flow to settle, right? How's everybody doing? <laughs> I hope everybody's doing great. I'm doing amazing. I'm getting to do this, pursue my passion, continue to do what I love every day. 
That looks so cool. Wow. I can't wait to like lay this thing down so you guys can just see all the subtle little details in this. Because almost the gold almost did create some cells, which is interesting. I do have metallics that behave that way sometimes, but they don't always create cells. But this is just creating like a magic on the canvas right now. And I love it. This is so cool. All right, so it's starting to flow all the way to the corner. And then we stop. And we'll bring some of that back to the center. I mean, I almost don't want to mess with this at all. Because I love the way this looks right now. It looks so good. You have all these like shimmery metallics. Man. Just phenomenal looking. All right. So I am going to still do my little line. I think I want it to kind of follow this area right here. So I'm not gonna use too much of this paint, but. I do want a line. red here and I think the red with the white will do some really spectacular things now these white these other colors that I'm adding right now they do have some silicone in them so I do want them to create some cells when I blow and we'll see what we can make them do. This is that, this little piggy's color right here. It's very runny though. All right, let me get a little bit more on there. I'm so happy to bring you guys along on this. Some of y'all call me the Bob Ross of acrylic pouring. I don't know if it's my voice or that I'm trying to be positive and upbeat, but Bob Ross was absolutely a legend. And I am flattered that some of you would say that. Mm hmm All right. Let's do this. I don't think we need to add any more white to it. And I'm going to try to not get my big old head in the way. Let's see. Do I want to add anything else to it before I, before I blow? I feel like my head's going to get in the way, but we'll see. All right, let me see. Is creating some cells I think it could stand to have just a little bit more light in it though maybe I should have did that in the beginning and added a little more white but it has a very like organic look to it and then that silicone is really seriously interacting with the rest of the colors like on this side, you can't even see the white. So, there we go. Then we're gonna... Ooh, 
I like that. Yeah, that adds just enough light and contrast. Mmm. That's beautiful. Let me take my heat gun to it now. I may or may not have introduced some bubbles to it, so this will help pop those bubbles and help that silicone maybe react just a slight bit more. The composition isn't quite centered. I feel like I want to draw another one that kind of shoots off in that direction. So that's what we're gonna do. Yes, very organic, nice curves. I'll put a little bit of red on top of there. Glorious pyrrole red from Golden. And we have that This Little Piggies mica powder for even more of a metallic shimmer to it. This violet. Beautiful colors. And then this deep magenta on top. And then we've learned already from the other one that we want to add a little more white to the top. To help contrast even more. And as you can see, like the cells in this are still opening up everywhere. Ooh. Yeah, that is mm, beautiful. Right. Same thing as the other one. I want to help some of that silicone react. Just look at those cells just exploding. That's awesome. Now I'm going to go over the whole thing. Any bubbles, I want to make sure I get rid of any of those surface bubbles. This looks so cool. I love it. I absolutely love this. There we go. All right, wow. Let me bring you guys down so you can check this thing out, but it is so wicked. Just look at the shimmer from that gold. And then the red and the Violets, magentas made this really awesome little organic looking structure in it. That looks so wicked. If you want to watch another video just like this, click the screen right now and I'll see you there.